Good evening! May I have some milk? That would be lovely! Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the what? It's not open for... What? Aw oh, man! Aw oh, man! I, I guess... I guess I could wait two hours. <laughs> well actually it's... Oh! Oh, okay. I'll, I'll just... I'll just wait an hour. <laughs> and by an hour, I mean like maybe 20 seconds at regular speed. Let's slow back time and wait just a couple seconds more until it reaches 10. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's gone. Look at that sun move. It's gone. I'm trying to maximize my time here. 10, go! I got a membership, yes! <laughs> All right, now I would like to buy some milk, please. I did a little bit of rupee grinding in those bushes next to the fairy fountain. You know, the ones that get all squiggly, squaggly all over the place. I would like the Chateau Romani, please. There you go. Oh, yeah. So not only can we have unlimited magic power, we can drink that now and open up that bottle for another fairy in the future. Oops. Bottoms up! Oh, yeah, I'm feeling good. Look at that. Look at our magic meter. It's flashing with the power of a thousand suns. That's a strong drink. It might, might, might take me a little while for this to wear off, so I'm gonna do the block puzzle thing in front of Tower Stone Temple. S uh, yeah, that. Okay, it wore off. So all the block puzzle is done, but remember I said to remember this this bloodstain symbol down over here? Get your light arrows and shoot it. And prepare for your mind to be blown. <laughs> Behold! We have flipped the whole place over! Or maybe it's gravity, I don't know, but just take a look see around here. See, the, the boulders and stuff are. they're falling straight out! What? This is just craziness! And my, uh. Owl statue is gone, and this particular portion, yeah, it's it's just not here. It's not here. But we don't have to do the block puzzle! Yay! <laughs> so now that we're going inside the dungeon as we're flipped around, because I believe we've exhausted all resources around the other area. Oh yes, Stone Tower Temple version 2. <laughs> Yep, it's uh, it's upside down, and you can actually fall out into space because you know the gravity or whatever is reversed. And there's a stray fairy. That's the thing that I set up using the uh, sun switch on the last part. I don't even know if I can do that on this particular portion of the. Uh, oh yeah, I guess I could have. Uh, maybe. <laughs> there's also these rather thin pathways now, because we're going all along the ceiling architecture, rather than the uh, uh, regular ground area, so yeah, this is gonna be something, I gotta say. And I do believe that chest is something that I need to make appear so I can get up there for later. Uh, so yeah, I do believe that I was correct in that, the, that the chest appears on the inverted side, or I should say the upside down side of the Stone Tower Temple. Anyway, we only have one way to go here at the moment, so uh, let's do that. This block has returned, unfortunately, <laughs> but it's okay for us because we have the powers of light arrows. And the Chateau Romani. <laughs> That's our uh, compass. Uh-huh. Remember I said it would make sense as to the position of these suckers when uh, when the time is right? Well, now it should be making sense to you. Um, yeah, so now the flower is on the correct side that we can use, but I don't remember which 
And like where that other treasure chest was here that I had set up by hitting the switch. Um Oh yeah, that's right. That that's a fire arrow giblet. And since I have unlimited magic, I can abuse the poop out of my fire arrows. Yeah, baby! Woo! I knew I had to come down here for something. <laughs> and that makes a chest appear on the quote-unquote ground ceiling. And I don't know why I got rid of my Deku mask, because I kind of need that here. And I'm just going to go inside one of these air holes now that drained out the water. Remember this was the vertical room that had all the water in it? Yep, no more water, it just went out, now we've got air. <laughs> um, but yeah, the other treasure chest, where was that? I have to get up top from somewhere. I don't remember if all oh, the air currents, some of them are higher than others, I forgot about that. Ow! My stubby legs. <laughs> Okay, this one goes... Uh, this is an acceptable place, I suppose, to start my trek around. I will hop up here before I get attacked. Take this off, and I wonder if I could just, like, arrow right through this. I cannot. Interesting. Okay, so... My, our, uh, fake Helmosaur guy reacts just like a Helmosaur. <laughs> there you go. Oh! Oh! How did I do that? Like, what? I don't even know how I... Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> uh, let's get that over there. And shoot this now, which will activate the sun switch. And it'll make this appear on the opposite side, so that means we're gonna have to flip the temple around later on in the future. Of course, but we couldn't... We, we weren't able to shoot that switch before on the other side because it was underwater. At least I don't think you could have shot it while it was underwater. Uh, but yeah, I, I can always go back to that easily just by reshooting those blocks on the outside. Uh, I mean, uh, excuse me, redoing the blocks on the uh, outside, you know, the puzzle and then shooting that switch. Actually, the, the blocks are in the correct position now. I would just shoot the, uh, uh, shoot the spider switch and then do the block puzzle. Alright, so now that we're up here, um, let's see, I want to get over there, obviously. But, I don't... Th well, maybe I can get there safely by doing this, and then going wee all the way up to the... Oh, I want it... Oh, that switch over there! That's where I want it to go to. Yeah, it's, just, it's a little bit more complicated to uh, navigate this place when it's flipped around, for obvious reasons, so... Okay, there we go. That opens that up, and... Oh! Did that just turn off? Yeah, it turned off. Elegy of emptiness, I suppose. <laughs> I didn't recognize that that was a blue switch because it's so dark now. Uh, but I, I guess it is. <laughs> yeah, especially with this little bit of light that I put on it with the power of my song there. It kind of put a little bit more contrast onto it. Okay. So there we go. I got my doppelganger over there. It looks exactly like me. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go into this air current on this side, and hopefully I'll be able to do it before touching the ground. <laughs> and we're going to go over here, maybe explode, I don't know. But what I do know is, I there's a key in this uh, box, I think. Oh no, it's not a key, it's a fairy! What, what, what is this? What is this? <laughs> okay, so what about that other... Um, other treasure chest in this room, because I could have swore that there was a treasure chest that had the key that we need in this room. Uh, was it under... Oh, it was underneath that... I'm going to take damage. <laughs> it was underneath that uh, other pathway. So I got to go get myself on a lower air jet, I guess you could say. Wait, actually, no, I can just drop off here for one thing. Yeah, it doesn't take damage. I mean, I don't take damage when I do it that way. And then there's this chest over here. Okay. Oh. Not a chest. Oh, what? Well, what does this do? <laughs> uh, no. Oh. Makes that chest appear over there? Okay, and that one's... Oh, this is funny here. You can get those rupees by letting it... <laughs> <laughs> so you're letting that hand grab you twice. This was the other room that had the water in it that's now drained out because it's upside down. When you flip the gravity back around and over or whatnot, it will show um, that the water is back on track. Oh shoot, I reset the enemies. 
Ah, oh, poopers. <laughs> well, let's just open this up. I think there's a fairy in this one. Okay, there's not. It's a key. Nah, I'm forgetting which chest contains a lot, but at least I knew there was a key in this room. Okay, now we gotta get ourselves down and underneath to go and take another path here. Ah. Okay, let me in. Let me in. There we go. <laughs> I just want to get myself under... See where that treasure chest is underneath there? I just want to get myself on this ledge so I can hook my shell... Hook shot myself up and over there. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. And then I'll take that key route a little bit later. Uh, what? I can't, like... Oh, come on, I'm pretty sure I could shoot this. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! Poopers. <laughs> Let's try the middle one. Maybe it's maybe it's a lot sh more shallow. Oh, okay, it's a lot more shallow, that middle one there. Uh, does that mean I can now reach this? Yes! <laughs> this one contains the... F yeah, this one contains the fairy. That's number 11. Uh, I already shot that switch before, so... Don't need to shoot that again, and now we can go up to that door with the keyhole. Well, I should say chained hole. Uh, camera, please work with me here. I want to go... Thank you. <laughs> uh, what's in here? Just really quick. Oh! Well, there's there's mines. That's what's in there, but that that's not really important. <laughs> um, now, over here, see this? This is... Uh, you can't really traverse this. Because there's lava <laughs> for one, like, we can't traverse it this way because there's these sheer face walls over here. So, we got another spider switch. Guess we gotta do with the spider switch! <laughs> Whee! And we flipped again. <laughs> See, it, it's like we flipped the tower, but yet we don't, in a way. I. I guess, because it just seems like it's more... Oops, what am I... Why did I do that? Because it just seems like it's more gravity-based than anything. Like, based on how the way things react and whatnot. Uh, oh, wait, wait, hold on a sec. I just want to see something here really quick. Will that... Am I able to get that chest now? That I flipped that... Oh, no, no, that didn't flip the whole dungeon. It just flipped that room, okay. Oh, and the room flipped back, dang it. <laughs> Good thing for unlimited powers. So yeah, I was right about that other chest being uh, purposefully out of the way, I guess you could say. But you have to have to flip it back over later on. Uh, and then you go over here. Oh wait, actually, do I need to be on that middle platform? I don't think I need to be on that middle platform. Um... Mm, I'm just gonna. Sh oh, I was gonna say I'm just gonna shoot this and then uh, see what happens because I'm pretty sure there's a door directly above me. Yeah, there is, and that leads me to another room. Wah, wah! It's a bunch of choo choos. I think I think it'd be best to take care of them because I got a flip floppy block puzzle going on here. Uh, unless they're just gonna keep respawning. I don't know. We'll see. It's a yellow choo-choo. I would like some arrows, please. And magic. I, I kind of don't need magic now. <laughs> but here is the block puzzle. Got that block there. And we got to get it over to a switch on... Um... Actually, where does it go? <laughs> does it go on... You're still following me, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Okay, so I don't need that. But yeah, where's the switch I need to get it to? Because I got to do some planning here. Is it on the ground, or...? Hmm. Well, anyway, at the very least, I know I, uh, I know I've got to flip this, and the choo choos are constantly respawning. Well, that's not going to be annoying at all, though, is it? <laughs> all right. Oh, oh. Kill that off. All right. Now I'm gonna push the block over to the other side. I believe pushing is faster than pulling, so I'm just gonna do it this. Well, it's still it's still pretty sluggish. <laughs> And then I'm gonna have to flip the room around because you see this block is kind of trapped within the boundaries of the tracks. Uh, wait, actually, hold on a sec. Um, mm, I actually think I need to have this in the middle. Come to think of it, because I need to be able to push it across in a straight line. Uh oh, <laughs> I don't care. Just keep hitting me if you want. <laughs> keep hitting me if you want to. 
I'm not stopping my block pushing. Okay, let's now flip this back over. And the block should be in a... It should be on top of that non-depressed area. Yeah, there we go. See that? Now that it's over here, and not trapped in one of these side channels of sorts, I can push it across to the middle. Got it? Oh, oh, I would just want to push. I just want to push. Thank you. And wait, oh, I want to see something here really quick. Are there choo-choos trapped on the ceiling, or are they... They're gone completely. Interesting. <laughs> I figured they would have kept... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where does it come from? Uh-oh. Keep hitting me if you dare. Keep hitting me if you dare. Oh, jeez, there's another It already came. Uh, I, I, I will definitely want to keep my arrows on the stock because of all the flipping I'll be doing. Okay. Now for that... Where does this block need to go from here? It needs... It needs... Is this a switch here? That looks like the place that it needs to go to. Um, I hear you coming. <laughs> Let's see here. I just want to make sure that I get this. Uh, um... Um... See, it, it's kind of hard to pinpoint exactly which, which spot the block is above because of its relative position to the ground or ceiling. And, you know, we're trying to figure this out in the 3D space. <laughs> so it's just a wee bit tricky to figure out where this block needs to go. Okay, and then take care of you. And we're going on with the groove on. Thank Arceus for my fairies, huh? <laughs> I think if I push it on the middle square here, or pull it on the middle square here, it will be in perfect position for that switch on the other side. I think. I think. And... Oh, shoot, I got it reversed! Ah, oh, poopers. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to do it like that. I was supposed to... Yeah, I was supposed to get it to that upper level from the middle and then push it. That's okay. That's okay. We still have plenty of time. And we have unlimited arrows in this room. And as well as Chateau Romani'd magic meter. Are you gonna be able to get me from behind? Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> I was gonna say, unlimited arrows due to the uh, choo-choos that keep popping in and the magic too. They make sure to keep you well stocked in this particular area. Not the boss, though. The boss is really chintzy on the magic, and that really sucks, because you can get locked into a, uh, a situation that you can't win. But uh, as long as you got the Chateau Romani, you're okay with that. There we go. And now that opens! But I can't get up there unless I flip the gravity again, or flip the tower again, isn't that right? Yeah, so I gotta flip it while I'm on top of that other side, because I can use the slope to get myself around there. Out of my way. Ah, I said, out of my way! <laughs> oh, oh I, I didn't hit the red thing. <laughs> I hit the bottom of the spider and it still worked. Okay, there we go. Whoa! Uh oh! Uh oh! What are we gonna do about the whiz robe? Oh man! Oh man, it's the most difficult boss on the planet. Well, actually, this is the most difficult version of him. Because it's got those fire, those little fire giblets, but it's still not that... Oh, shoot. Oh! <laughs> By the way, you can fall out here, and that's, uh... This is like the, uh... Place of no return, I guess you could say, of sorts. Oh, shoot. I was a little bit... Yeah, because we're upside down, We our sunroof that we made in this room is, uh... Oh, I wasn't ignited fully yet. That's okay. That is... Ah! <laughs> Okay, you're going up there. I just need to be able to get myself into position to be able to do the chain. Oh, where are you? Where, oh, you're up there. Oh, I, I didn't let you appear fully. There we go, I let you appear fully that time. So what they like to do is that if you don't... If you shoot them as he's appearing, it, he'll just tra teleport to another spot. And I'm able to hear where he's coming from based on my uh, earbuds. Because my earbuds allow me to hear things in stereo as to his relative position as opposed to just needing to use my eyes, or only having to use my eyes, excuse me. 
So yeah, in this case, it's, it's not as helpful, but I mean, that first phase, yeah. Uh, there's the solid one. Hmm, let's see what we got here. Wait, which one? Uh, I got the- oh shoot, oh shoot, you're up there. Oh, incoming! <laughs> Uh, where is he now? Oh, he's up there. Whoa! What hit? Oh, the fire on the ceiling, because it's the lava room. <laughs> That's okie dokie, artichoke. <laughs> um... Oh, you're over there. I win. That's still not that much more difficult than your typical wizard robe fight in this game, but eh, eh, it's a fight. <laughs> Alrighty, now I can use the- oops. I can use this. Hey, I was able to switch items without wasting a thing. Because I, I, I switched my buttons on the fly. Interesting. Interesting. And I think I can use... Um, hold on. Before I do anything more here. I think I can use this to get up there. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is for, like, resupply... Oh, fairy. Resupplies. Uh, so if you don't have Chateau Romani, you might want to buy some green potions. Or blue potions. Blue potions will work as well, but I mean, yeah, from wherever you... Anything that'll refill your magic for the boss, but since I've got unlimited magic, I could just chalk up... I mean, uh, stock up on my fairies, chock full. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying about this hole, uh, if you were to look down this... This leads... Into the sky! Yeah, this is, uh, because we're flipped around, remember? Oops. Ah, it does work, like that. <laughs> what? I... What? Okay, I, I could have swore that I was aiming at the wooden part, but whatever. Now before I move in this, move out of this room here, I just want to see... I don't think there is anything more in here. Uh, no there was not. Okay. And since I can't get back over to the owl statue over here relatively easily, I'm just gonna kind of risk it and end off the part here. Oh god! <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I hopefully finish this dungeon and reach an owl statue. <laughs> I hope. I hope. <laughs>